Hello and welcome. Uh, we're going to go through the two articles, the tank trade and event, refresh your world, world War II collection, and we're also going to be going through the keys to glory, imposing armor, a large firing arc, and a mustache. And we'll get into that a little bit later. Anyway, let's continue uh, going through this one first. Uh, trade in event is back from the 18th of May, which is tomorrow. Thought it would have been today. 18th of May to 25th of May. Uh, sounds a little bit sus, but it should have been active today, I believe. Uh, trade in event, uh, essentially what it, how it worked, uh, I'll give you the short version, is you can take a premium tank that you already own in-game that you no longer want, as long as it's uh, within these selections. Um, trade it in at half the gold value of the vehicle. So if your vehicle that you bought is worth 10,000 gold, you can trade it in for 5,000 gold uh, towards a tank that you don't own. Uh, so you don't get the gold equivalent. Uh, essentially what happens is if you no longer want this vehicle, uh, you can trade it in towards another vehicle. So you have to trade it in towards another vehicle in order to get the worth of that tank, 50% uh, worth of that tank. Um, so 10,000 gold worth of tank, you then trade it and you want to buy a 6,000 gold tank with it. Uh, if it's on the trading list, you can then trade in that tank uh, for 5,000 gold, put 1,000 of your own gold towards it and get a brand new tank. So uh, you can pause if you wish, but these are the tanks uh, that you have an option to, to trade in. So American, Germany, UK, USSR, France, Japan, China, Czechoslovakia, Sweden, Poland, Italy, and mercenary tanks. And if you want to know what tanks are on the trade-in program, there we go, here's a full list of these. Oosh, there's quite a lot. So we've got the Falcon that you can get, uh, T95E2, uh, Death Sorper M46 pattern, the Minuteman T29, probably one of the most uh, dominant tanks tier for tier in my opinion, uh, T26E5, the uh, the heavy tank Persian variant, uh, not the super Persian, a Bulk Otter T29 con uh, T28 concept, sorry, M53 Equalizer, which is a pretty nice tank actually. Uh, Germany has the Panther M10, the Citadel Tiger 1, Tiger 1 Hammer, VK45.03, uh, the Louvre, uh, Krump, uh, Sayer Waffentrager, tier 7 by the way, that uh, the 88 Jag Tiger, uh, tier 8 preferential, uh, Ramtel Scorpion G, uh, Sentinel AC4 uh, Experimental, uh, Sherman VC Firefly, Centennial T95, Chimera Vindicator Charioteer, HMH FB305 for the British, Russia has the Talon, Dreadnought, IS-2M, uh, Object-252U, Defender, the Scourge Kutovitz-1, Slayer SU-152, if you don't already own a Slayer, I'd highly suggest picking one up, uh, ISU-130, France has the HMH AMX-1357, ELC Even-90, Bretagne Panther, uh, HMH M-51 Super Sherman, also a really nice tank, uh, FCM 58T Liberté, preferential tier 8. Uh, Ele um, elegant, uh, Elelite, however you wish to pronounce it, uh, M4 uh, Emile 49 for the French. Uh, Japan has the Warlord Panther SDA2, heavy tank of number 6, Kaiju OI. Uh, China has the Dragon Type 62, King Dragon Type 59, Legion 59 Patton, 112, which is a nice tank. Uh, Alpine Tiger uh, WZ111, also a really nice tank, preferential. The WZ121GFT, the non skin Yatsi. Czechoslovakia has the Ziska Skoda 40T, or T40. Sweden has the STRV4257 Alt A2. Uh, the Lonson C, not the Dragon. I highly suggest getting the Dragon over the Lonson C. Uh, the Stark STRV S1. Poland has the Poodle. Italy has the Progetto M35 Mod 46, Mercenaries has the Turtle Skullcap, the Trinity Mark II, and the Boulder. So that's it, the tanks that you can get for the trade-in program, I will link it in the description later on. Now if we go over a Keys to Glory, 
uh, the brand new tank that we're getting. Uh, when are we getting? In game now, right? Let me double check that. Today's Monday. That's why. I thought today was Tuesday. It's Monday. Oh, dearie me. So it comes out tomorrow. <laughs> the KV4 KTTS wide firing arc, excellent armor values to show what's real thing, uh, tanking looks like. Uh, so this is the vehicle here in question. Uh, it's basically a KV4 hull, a KV4 gun. Uh, but it's quite lower to the ground because it's a casemate, uh, and it's it's a side scraping monster. I've got it in tanks GG here, so we'll have a look at it in a second. Uh, gameplay tip: In addition to keeping uh, targets inside the tanks, Wi-Fi around gives you plenty of battle chat to shoot choose from. Uh, for example, you can engage in side scraping gameplay, which this thing excels at. Um, side scraping gameplay or increase the already uh, great frontal armor values angling it, which is true. Uh, I have played this in Super Test. I personally quite enjoyed this vehicle, uh, so I can't wait for it to come out tomorrow. Uh, this is actually a vehicle that I may pick up myself. Uh, this is the hero skin. We'll open up a new tab. You can't really see it any better, but that's what it looks like. Um, honestly, the, the skins that they've kind of been coming out for these vehicles aren't all that impressive. Uh, I do feel like they need to up their game on skins because uh, from what it looks like so um, comparing this to this uh, what it looks like is all they've done is added a net over the back uh, added a tarp around the barrel and add a, added a big log down the side of the vehicle and put some bags behind that top machine gun turret up at the top doesn't look all that much, uh, the skin, to be honest. I wouldn't buy, buy the skin for this, not at all. It's nothing like the Super Hellcat skin, which was actually pretty cool. Um, so we can full screen these. These are the images of the KTTS, um, which is pretty, pretty, pretty cool. Uh, something I do want to point out is if you look at this battle here, you see how it's going over the fender? That's really important because I want to show you something. So that's going over the fender. All right, this is PC's one. And if uh, if you can see that in the bottom left, that's its gun arc. All right, so if we line that up right there, the gun doesn't go over the fender. So if we do this uh, visually, And you see where it's lined up. This turret rotates further than this. The turret rotates further than PCs. That's what it looks like. And I thought it was a really interesting thing. Let's try and line this up for now. Pretty damn close, right? I don't know. I feel like the turret rotates a little bit further. Anyway, so um, this is the, the vehicle that we're getting uh, in game. This is PCs variant, not consoles. Uh, so as it says, it's going to be an excellent side scraper. Um, from what I can tell, it is. You just need to cover this front plate. Uh, it's got pretty nice strengths and weaknesses. Uh, you can pan the flat side of the turret, so if it is side scraping uh, and you're at range, you can actually nail it straight in the turret because this turret seems pretty weak. Um, as long as you keep that lower plate completely hidden, like its front plate completely hidden, it's going to be quite a nice tank. Uh, so I am pretty excited to see this thing in console. Uh, so back to the article. Uh, this is tank characteristics of the vehicle. Uh, matchmaking plays up to tier 10, so no preferential. 10% XP bonus. 
50% silver urn, hit points 1200, which is alright for a tier 8 tank destroyer. Uh, engine power 1200 horsepower per ton, uh, horsepower even, sorry. Uh, power to weight ratio is 12, speed limit is 35, pretty slow. Uh, hull traverse speed 24 degrees per second, turret rotation speed 24 degrees per second, D gun depression is 5 degrees, pretty lackluster. Uh, 20 degrees uh, elevation penetration, 227 millimeters of penetration on standard routes is not bad. Uh, the average for tier 8 is 200 to 210, so that's it's all right. Uh, 320 alpha on its gun, aim time 2.5 seconds, pretty lackluster aim, uh, but better than some other tank destroyers. Accuracy is all right, fire rate 7.14 rounds a minute, pretty good rate of fire then for 107 millimeter. Obviously, being 6.0 with the stuff that you can put on your tank, you can get that down a lot better. Uh, reload is 8.4. Again, you could probably get that to like 6, uh, 7 seconds. Easy. Max ammo capacity, 90 uh, view meters, and pretty luck luster, but it's a Russian tank. What are you expecting? Uh, get the T, uh, KV4 T, uh, KTTS fully loaded, loaded, and base bundle. And it looks like we're getting a new crew. Uh, we're getting this of Russian man here um, with his uh, wee mustache and his glasses. So that's pretty cool. Uh, new crew, uh, 13,500 gold for the lo fully loaded bundle. That comes with the new commander, the skin, and the tank itself. Uh, so you're paying... Uh, you're paying 1,100 gold for the skin compares to the bundle. Uh, the, uh, the loaded bundle, you're getting the tank uh, and the commander, and the base bundle, you are only getting the tank. Uh, so that's it for the articles. Uh, again, I'm pretty stoked for this tank coming to vehicle uh, to the game, because as you can see up here, it, it's it's not a weak point. Uh, the only weak points this thing has upon side scraping is the flat side of the turret if aiming at you. So you can actually hit that pretty reliably for uh, with any tank. Uh, and the upper plate, so you do have to kind of wiggle yourself back and forth. Anyway, that's it. Also, we have uh, the, this was just released, is the patch notes for the 18th of May, uh, which is tomorrow. Uh, content changes, new World War II premium tank is the KV-4 KTTS that we already just covered. Uh, comes with the KV-4 KTTS hero skin. Uh, 3D Commander, which we saw, uh, there's a new commander called um, Big Buddha Bill. Uh, new camos for World War II. Uh, World War II trade and event, which we just covered in the previous article. Fixes, there's no physics fixes this week, which is big sad. However, we are getting a bunch of bundles here. You can pause if you wish to read those. Uh, deals of the week is 32A Pro. -O. The Tiger 217 personal offers is the IS5, the Skoda T40, and the Garbage. Uh, and here is the streams for World Tanks consoles uh, Twitch channel, which we'll also put in the description. And that's about it, really, for uh, tomorrow's patch notes. Anyway, if you did like the video and you did enjoy, please leave a sub. If you want to see weekly videos like this, uh, let me know and I can start doing those as these are relatively easy to make and, uh, well, yeah, anyway, uh, take care and keep it renegade. Bye-bye.